How do? Want to know how to put in frets, polish them, level them, crown them, and maybe do a little bit of inlay stuff as well? Well, stay tuned and you'll find out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, so you know at some point during this video, I'm going to make a massive cock up because you've seen the thumbnail and you've read the title. He doesn't know that yet. He's still going to make that mistake, but we've got to let him do that. What I want you to do, though, is I want you to put a comment and a timestamp for when you figured out what the problem is down in the comments below. If there's enough of you, I might just scroll through, randomly pick a comment and send you a prize because I'm feeling good. Pay attention, because I didn't. Hi, I'm Chris. Welcome to King Bespoke Creations. Now, did you see the video on how to fully carve a neck using simple tools and any wood you fancy? If you haven't, click the link in the description and go and give that a watch so that you can pick up any chunk of wood, use simple tools and create any kind of neck you fancy, just like this one. Really easy stuff. Today, though, we're going to have some simple inlays that are very, very easy to do. Right, let's tuck in then. So the first thing we're going to do is mark off where the frets are actually going to sit. We're always starting with the almighty centre line, so draw a centre line on. Just put a nick where each point needs to be. So I've marked off my 22 frets with just a tiny little dot on each one along that centre line. Then I'm going to use one of these uh, so that we get a very definite 90 degrees to that center line. Obviously we can't measure off the edges because they're angled. Right, once we've scribed all those lines off just with the knife, I'm then gonna mark off which of these need a center dot. Now be very careful when you get to the 12th that you don't put a, a dent in there. So I've done this before where I've gone through uh, and put a dent in the center because I've got a center line, I've got this and I've gone through and I've put a great big dent in with a brad all. But the trouble is I tend to then get a bit overexcited and do exactly the same at the 12th fret. Now obviously we don't want a dot in the, tw in the center of the 12th fret uh, because usually you have two dots there don't you so if you've got a dot in the middle somewhere you've got a screw up i'm just going to draw a big circle on there so i know that's the 12th the other marker dots i'm going to do fairly standard round marker dots in there albeit using maple something like that on the 12th there's going to be something a little bit different and then i'm going to have some inlay work coming up in a really really simple way Right, so I'm going to make some marker dots using an off cut of the maple that I had for the neck and using one of these little corner brace um, sections that I just have lying around. I don't know why I ever bought them because I've never used them. Uh, and they have holes already pre-drilled. That bigger hole there happens to be an 8mm hole, which works nicely for me. All I'm going to do is cut off a square of this and hammer it through the hole. Then you end up with a dowel in. So I've cut off a stick of maple. This is just off the same stuff from the back of the neck. And I'm just rounding off the edges a little bit, taking the corners off, and then cutting the end down smooth enough to fit through a small hole. So with our dots cut out from the homemade doweling. Uh, it's time to put a little marker on each point. So if you've got a bradle, use one of those. If you don't have a bradle, you could just as easily use the point on the drill bit before you start to drill to make sure that the start of that hole is going to be exactly in the right place. If we just try and go in straight away with the drill bit, there's a hefty chance it's going to move fractionally and it will be visible because we're looking at straight lines and your eyes love straight lines. Mm. 
watch that 12th make sure you don't put a dot right in the center on that 12th right so we've made this 8 mil dowling which we're using as the dots it would be a perfect thing to use an 8 mil drill bit and they will fit pretty perfectly i'm going to go one mil higher than that so i'm going to drill a nine mil hole and then glue these in using black super glue so that it's got a ring of black around that maple dot hopefully we can get them central um, but if it doesn't i don't mind so much it might work all right with the design that's going in so there's going to be a lot of black happening on this guitar along with a bit of red but i don't want to give too much away so apparently I didn't press record whilst using the pillar drill, but you've seen people drill holes before. Um, I did mount it on this plate because we've carved the back off. I wanted to make sure that this was flat and level. So just masking tape and super glued on this plywood sheet. Uh, so now we get to use some of that black super glue to put that in there. And hopefully we'll see a little ring of black once we've sanded them off flat. There we go maple dots with a black ring well, it's time to put some inlays on this fretboard and i'm going to do two different types at the 12th fret is going to be a slightly different version of the two dots and that's going to be done in the traditional inlay style cut a piece out cut the recess to match that piece insert one into the other just like we've done with the marker dots only a different shape The second version is the super easy one. This is where we just cut out whatever shape you want and then fill that void with a liquid. Now the easy option there obviously would be resins of some sort and with a clear resin you could put something on the bottom like I've done regularly. If we look at my crown logo for instance, I often do that with some gold leaf underneath and then the clear resin over the top. But we've seen already today that that black super glue works perfectly and black is the color i want on this occasion so i'm going to cut out some lines on this fretboard fill it with the black super glue and then just sand it all flat I could keep that lumpy the texture is awesome 
but it would make it slightly unplayable. So sanding it is. Once you've smoothed it out, you might find a few air bubbles. So again, just kind of dob through with tiny little bits of the glue uh, and then smooth that flat and then you're done. So there we go, one nicely inlaid fretboard. So we have the, the dots in, we have our inlay, super simple, really, really easy to do that with any kind of the, the fluids coloured or whether you want to put, like I said, the gold leaf underneath and use a clear resin or something like that. A very, very easy way to make the fretboard stand out. Okay, so how many of you have been shouting at the screen going, it's in the wrong fret? Because the inlay is in the wrong fret. <sighs> yes, because of filming and distracting myself and silly things like that, I've put these two dots that are supposed to represent the 12th fret markers on the 11th fret. It should have been there. Oh, well. Right, so um, I've got a few options. One rip the whole fretboard off and do it again. Really don't fancy doing that. Two is to make these eyes, which is what they are, um, massive so that they go into there so the bulk of it starts inside and works its way up. That's one way of doing it. The third option will give away exactly what this is gonna be. This is a Venom guitar. So what I'm going to do is instead of moving the eyes, I'm going to put a mouth on the 12th fret. Lots and lots of gnarly teeth and a big fat tongue. Uh, and let's just see how that works. I'm just going to stick the camera on film, shut up and concentrate. That's better. There we go. So the mouth and the tongue are now on the 12th fret and I will count at least a dozen times before putting the side dots in. <laughs> and what do I use for side dots? Cocktail sticks. It's genius, isn't it? Twelfth fret, two dots. Remember, remember, twelfth fret, two dots. Well, I think that's me done for the day. Um, 
before I fry my brain and do something else really stupid. Uh, next thing is to put the frets in and then we can crack on with the body. Click subscribe and ring that little notification bell thingamajig to make sure you catch the rest of this guitar. Until later, sharpen your tools, pay attention. God bless. Bye-bye.